That day, I was on the helicopter and saw something that seemed really strange to me. So I consulted the most famous acoustic expert in China. We'll get the results back later today, and I want to present it to everyone here. Are you saying that we can get the results back today? That's right. Everyone, we've made a replica of the lifeboat with the same material, capacity, and size of the original, according to the video online. We've marked the positions of the stranded passengers and Aisin, and the positions of the child and Ding Kai at the entrance. Using this handheld transceiver as the sound generator, we've installed 10 microphones with high sensitivity every 70 centimeters to record the sound intensity of the different areas. But didn't our investigators run a similar sound test before? That's right. We've already done a test like this back in Miami. Professor Lin believes that this experiment will help us find out if Ding Kai heard the order from the captain based on the video that was recorded. Yes, then shall we begin? Lifeboat, get back immediately. Over. Lifeboat, get back immediately. Over. Lifeboat, get back immediately. Over. Mr. Gu, please replay the audio and tell us the highest and lowest sound intensity recorded by microphones number one and number 10, respectively. Number one, highest, 81 decibels, lowest, 32. Number 10, highest, 111 decibels, lowest, 49. That's the range of sound intensity we've recorded, including the wave sounds, wind sounds, and the sound of the waves hitting the lifeboat, and the voice of the captain. Mm. But how can we discover the farthest position that the captain's voice could actually reach. We only need to replay the audio and see which microphone fails to pick up his voice. Mr. Gu, turn on microphone number six, which is located at the entrance, crowded with people, and see if it can still pick up the captain's voice. Okay. Lifeboat, get back immediately, over. Lifeboat, get back immediately, over. Lifeboat, get back immediately. Over. So microphone number six can still pick up the voice clearly. Mr. Gu, let's try microphone eight, where the sailor stood outside the cabin a little further away. Lifeboat, get back immediately. Over. That's exactly the same result we got from our test at HQ. Professor, could there be other possibilities? Actually, in order to verify our test results, we'll need to adjust the positions of the mics. Sound engineers lower the height of each microphone by one meter, then add another microphone. We'll call the microphone number 11, which should be installed behind the head of the sailor outside the cabin, the very spot where the kid was when he called for his father, and I've marked it red. We've invited the father and son onto the lifeboat so we can recreate the scene. Child, listen to me. When you see the red light flash at the entrance of the cabin, call for your dad as loudly as you can. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Begin. Lifeboat, Daddy. get back immediately. Over. Lifeboat, Daddy. get back immediately. Mr. Gu, turn on microphone number eight, the one located farther away from the sailor outside the cabin. Lifeboat, get back immediately. Intensity? Highest 112, lowest 65. Much higher than before. We can hear the boy clearly, but the captain's voice is almost inaudible. Can you please turn on microphone number 11, the one that you have marked red? We'd like to know if we overlooked something during our test. Mr. Gu, please turn on microphone 11. Daddy! Intensity? Highest 104, lowest 85. That's without the noise made by the helicopter. It proves that the sailor really didn't hear the captain's order that day.
Everything has turned out fine. It's over. I'm satisfied with the outcome. Thank you, everyone. Although the acoustic experiment has proved that Ding Kai might not have heard the captain's orders, it doesn't mean that he isn't affected psychologically by his father's death. I still feel that he isn't suitable to be the chief officer. So as you suggest, the acoustic test results are only a possibility. Can we consider that your judgment of the psychological shadow on Ding Kai is only a possibility? Yes, that is possible. Well, let's put that aside. What I see now is a hero. Someone who risked their life, not only for our people, but for the passengers. Sure. I respect the company's decision, but I reserve my right to perform my duties. And if I ever find out there's anything wrong with them that will affect the company's profile in a bad way, I request that the company follows proper procedures. We couldn't have expected a better result. Hey, Ziyang, really, really good job. Well Thank done. You. Fantastic. Good work. Ding Kai, wonderful. I always believed in you. Thank Excellent you, Excellent result. It's all settled. Keep up the good work. Yes. Ding Kai, on behalf of the Miami headquarters, congrats on passing. All right, I'll see you guys around. Let me, let me, let me. Hi, Dad. I didn't think you'd come home this early. Sure, Dinkai proved his innocence. I knew he didn't do anything wrong. You really shouldn't have forced your way into the hearing like that. That was out of line, know that? Next time you should think before you act on impulse. You understand? Understood. Being my daughter is not necessarily a good thing for you at the office. Of course, I'll always support you, but... You'll have to follow the rules, like other employees do. No special treatment. Yes, sir. It won't happen again. Hmm. Hey, it seems you have a special interest in Dinkai. We don't have many Chinese chief officers in the company. I think he's a talented man. I want to help him. You can help him if you want, but don't cross the line. I'm a big girl. I know what I'm doing. I'm still your dad regardless of your age. But you can't control every aspect of my life. I don't like where this is going. I make my own choices and have my own thoughts. It's my life after all. Annie. Sir, sir, are you all right, sir? Here, let me help you. Do you feel pain anywhere, sir? Shall we go to the hospital? Mr. Jiang? How much for one? Five yuan, miss. Then I'd like one, please. Sure.
Okay. Pass me the water, please. Hi, Dad. Hey, honey. You still working? Uh, yeah, I'm working overtime. Huh? In the office? I can hear cars rushing by you. Where are you now? Oh, I'm outside, doing a survey, in front of a shopping mall. Oh. Have you had dinner yet? My boss treated me to a nice meal. How have you been? Are you doing well? Yeah, I'm good. I'm already off work now. Don't push yourself. You worked too hard. I gave mom a call yesterday. Oh, did you? Good, good. Hey, honey. Do you need money? I don't. I can support myself now. You know, I already told mom that... I'd stop asking you for money once I got a job. Listen. It's okay, huh? Tell me if you need money. I know I'm not making much right now, but I can always buy you a meal or two, huh? You're my only daughter. Everything I have will be yours in the end. You and Mom should save up as much as you can. You'll need it later. Hello? Hey, it's me. I'm wondering if the travel mm -hmm. agency you work for knows the phone number of Ms. Who? It's urgent. Where are you right now? The theme park. Oh, okay. I'll be there in a minute. Bye. Oh my goodness! Oh my, are you alright? Did you hurt your head? Oh, you hurt your arms, or is it your legs? Who, don't worry. He's really not hurt at all. I just checked. Oh, thank goodness. Mr. Jiang, you remember me. I'm Tian Yue. Xian Zhi. Xian Zhi. Wait for me. Wait for me here. Xander is my name. I actually have two given names. Give it to me. I'm Xander. Let's go back home. Miss Hu. This is his medical report. Take it. You're welcome. We'll go home then. Bye. This bag is his. How about I give you a ride? No, thanks. We'll be fine. Thank you for everything. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Careful yeah, on your way. Be. See you. Careful. Are you all right? You sure you can walk? Mr. Jiang and Miss Hu. Don't they have any children? I don't think so. The emergency contact he left was Miss Who. What do you think? They never talked about them? The whole thing seems a little weird. I mean, Miss Who runs a stall selling rice noodles, and Mr. Xiang doesn't strike me as a man who has much money either. So how come they went on a cruise ship? That's so expensive.
Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, honey. Where are you right now, dear? I went to see you just now after I finished work. The landlord said that you had moved out. Why didn't you tell us about that? Oh, I am staying with a colleague right now. Uh, it's safer to have a roommate. I just moved in. I didn't have time to tell you. Colleague? Are you staying with a man? <sighs> Dad, of course it's a girl. <laughs> I was just joking with you. Oh, right. Send me your new address. It's about time to have lunch. Let's go somewhere nice. Oh, right. Why don't you invite your colleague to come along? We can eat together. I want to meet her, okay? M but my colleague's not at home. Oh. How about this? I'll go find you now, yeah? Send me the address, okay? I'm on my way now. But... <laughs> Careful. This is so fun. We need to go home in a while, okay? <laughs> Out of my way! Give it to me! Hey, look! There's a clown! Hello, Hello children! Hello. Come over here! <laughs> do you want to see a few magic tricks? Yeah! Let's okay, go see. good! We can do the trick together! Oh, oh. are you going to juggle? <laughs> He's gonna juggle three balls, right? Right, we'll use three balls. Okay, now who can juggle two balls and not Maybe. drop them? Uh, let me try. Let I me. want to try too. <laughs> okay, you I go can first. Do it. <laughs> You'll be next. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme park will be closing in ten minutes, so we hope you've enjoyed your time here. Please get prepared. They're to closing. Leave. The park Thank will be closed you. in ten minutes. Come on, let's go. Hand me the ball, kiddo. Will you come tomorrow? <laughs> Good Mr. Boy. Clown, will you come tomorrow? Of course. Will you guys come tomorrow? Yes. Okay, then I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Clown. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye Mr. Clown. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> Are you tired? Not at all. <laughs> Here. You Thank keep you. it. No. Come on. Take it. Take it. Hey, you. Let me. Give it to me. Here, let, let me. You. Let's go. <laughs> you must be tired. No, I'm not. <laughs> we had so much fun today. Those kids are just adorable. <laughs> that kid is waving at you. Oh, goodbye. See you. Hello. Hello. A glass of lemon water, please. Okay, coming right up. Thank you. It's hot. Be careful. doing here do you work here as well yeah I've been working here part-time since college so you're a guy during the day and a waitress at night mm. aren't you tired I am don't be in a rush to pay me back well I don't like owing people money it keeps me awake at night. All right. Since I ran into you, there's something I want to ask. Can you tell me more about Mr. Jiang? I'm not allowed to reveal our clients' info. 
Then I'll explain why I asked. I've been going to the theme park when I'm free and Mr. Jiang is there. He shows up around 4 p.m. every day. And Miss Hu will come and pick him up after 20 minutes. Every day is like this. And the strange thing is that Mr. Jiang looks like a clown and keeps a little bit of change in his hat. Pretending that he earned the money by performing. When Miss Hu comes to find him, he gives the money to her. Odd, right? It certainly sounds odd. Aren't you curious? I... <sighs> hey, what does that have to do with you? I guess I picked up your bad habit of being super nosy. Hmm. Will you consider giving me his info? I'll think about it. Will you come with me tomorrow? Wait, isn't it improper to investigate people behind their backs? Good night. Are you allowed to sleep when you're supposed to work? <laughs> Sit down. Miss Who? Oh my, Tanya, yeah, you're here. Mm. Oh, rice noodles, please. Two bowls. One to eat here, one to take with. Sure, but you don't have to pay. It's my treat. You can't do that. Business is business. If you don't let me pay, then I won't come again. <sighs> I guess I can't argue with you. All right. If you insist. Miss Who? You seem a bit down today, right? Something bothering you? I'm worried about the old man. He's sick. Back then... Let me think. Back in the day, I worked in a circus. I performed as the clown. She was an expert invited over to help us improve our performance. I was in my early twenties, a young naive man, but I did know she was the woman I wanted to spend my life with. While she was with us, she helped me put on my makeup before I went on stage. She told me that I should put my heart into my performance, even though I was just a clown. That was the happiest time of my life. We were deeply in love and planned to get married, but it turned out her family was strongly against our relationship. Xianzhi had no other choice but to go back home. They married me off to another man. A few years later, my husband got ill and passed away. Then my daughter got seriously ill, but I couldn't afford her treatment. So she left me as well. I was forced to marry another girl and had a son. Later, my wife passed away and I decided that I'd go look for Xianzhi. But back then, it wasn't easy to find someone day passed by, then another, then more than 20 years passed. I saved up some money and went back to Shanghai. I went to where the circus was, but the building was abandoned, his home demolished, and there was no trace, so I rented a stall nearby and made a living by selling rice noodles, hoping that I might run into him someday. There was a glimmer of hope in my heart that maybe one day we'd find each other.
Thank you. Xian Chi. Xian Chi. Thank heaven for sending them back to me. Look, Dinkai, you were there when I had a relapse. I'm afraid that my condition will only get worse and worse now, and one day I'll forget everything. I'm scared that I may leave her first, and she'd be left all alone with no one else to rely on. What would she do? Can you help me find an old people's home that will take good care of her? So she can live out her life in peace? I know his life isn't easy for him. He's not talking with his son because of me. What would happen to him if I passed away? How could I ever rest in peace then? You have a son, right? How about you talk to him and entrust Miss Hu to his care? That son of mine is never going to agree to us being together. He won't accept her. I don't think I can entrust her to him after I'm gone. Don't worry. I'll help you. Okay. Thanks so much. Their love story is really touching. Love like that rarely happens now. Hey, you're still young. You've lost faith in love after one loser? I think the key to true love is finding the right person. What do you mean by that? Stop rubbing salt into my wound, will you? <laughs> you look so young, but you act like you've seen a lot. What are you reading? Water safety tips. That seems unrelated to your work. Obviously. These can keep me safe. Are you scared to travel on a ship? I'm not. Scared of water? If you're scared, why did you choose to work on a ship? That's crazy. You tell me. The same reason you work here, to pay your bills, right? I've already told you, you can pay me back later. Don't push yourself too hard. How about you lend me some more? <laughs> I can, you just need to ask if you need more. <laughs> <laughs>